Cam Shop. Hi, I'm Deborah Nadulman Landis, costume designer of such films as The Blues Brothers, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and Coming to America. I'm also a writer and a UCLA costume design historian. My latest book, Hollywood Costume, was just published by Abrams. I'm so passionate about costume design that TCM asked me to host this month's Friday Night Spotlight called The Hollywood Costume. Each Friday night this month, I'll be here to introduce four films with a common thread, each one featuring the work of a great costume designer. Our first film is Blonde Venus from 1932, directed by Joseph von Sternberg, the director responsible for molding the career of the fabulous Marlena Dietrich. The film was made at Paramount Pictures during the golden age of Hollywood, with costumes designed by Travis Banton. Benton began his career in New York City, where he studied art and fashion design. He moved to Hollywood in 1924, and just a few years later became Paramount's chief designer. In this melodrama, Dietrich plays a nightclub singer who retires from the stage when she falls in love and marries an American chemist, played by Herbert Marshall. He suddenly becomes ill, and Marlena reluctantly goes back to work in order to pay the bills. Movies are about people, and it's Marlena's story in Blonde Venus that moves us. Costume design is not just about the clothes, although clues to the character are set within the screenplay of Blonde Venus. It is Dietrich, Joseph von Sternberg, and their creative collaborators, including costume designer Travis Banton, that breathe life and personality into them. Maria Riva, Marlena Dietrich's daughter, remembers her mother Marlena and Travis Banton working sometimes for 12-hour stretches. She said, my mother never tired. Such normal things as breaking for food, the bathroom, and the rest did not exist while Banton prepared the clothes for a film. With a cast that includes Cary Grant and Dickie Moore, here from 1932, Blonde Venus. Thank you.